specific heat of a solid. Now we are going to determine the specific heat of a given solid by using the method of mixtures using calorimeter, apparatus, physical balance, weight box, fractional weight box, thermometer, boiling test tube, rubber cork, zinc metal granules, steam heater, calorimeter with stirrer. Now measuring the weight of empty calorimeter with stirrer by using physical balance and note the weight W1 Note down the temperature at room conditions T1 now, pour some water into calorie meter and weight it along with stirrer by using physical balance. And take its weight as W2. Fill the steam heater with water and put it on Bunsen burner. Take zinc granules into boiling test tube and fix the thermometer into the test tube with the help of bored rubber cork as shown. With the help of test tube holder, put the boiling test tube containing zinc granules with thermometer into the steam heater. Heat the steam heater for some time and note down the temperature of zinc granules at constant position T3. Transfer the zinc granules as quickly as possible into calorie meter. Stir the solution for some time and place the thermometer. Measure the temperature. Note it as T2. Weight the calorie meter with stirrer zinc granules present in water by using physical balance We get W3. Note the readings in table. By using the formula, specific heat of calorimeter, specific heat of water. Therefore, we can find S. Principle of this experiment is heat loss by hot body is equal to heat gain by cold body. Precautions Loss of heat by radiation should be prevented by polishing the calorimeter. Thermometer should be removed with least loss of water. The solid should be in small pieces and quickly dropped into calorimeter. Loss of heat by conduction should be minimized by keeping wool in the wooden box. The water level in calorimeter must be sufficient to immerse the solid pieces completely under water. Avoid parallax error while taking readings.